Hello, everyone. I'm back with another one of my rants. And today, I want to talk to you about something I have noticed about the learning process of a programmer, although I do believe it can also be applied to other skills in life. So I believe that most people think of learning as a sequential acquisition of knowledge. So let's say we have a bunch of knowledge here and we are a beginner. So if we keep learning things on top of these, we may reach a next level of mastery, in this case, advanced level. Then if we keep learning even more, we may reach a level of master. This is how I believe learning is mostly understood. It's a sequence where we increase our knowledge and by increasing our knowledge, we become better in the process. However, I think that it misses a very, very important key part of the learning process that is very often overlooked and very rarely focused on. And that is the process of discarding previously acquired knowledge. Because as we learn and we go through this process, a bunch of the ideas that are learned may be wrong and need to be discarded, while some other knowledge may be solidified and further depth may be achieved there. So in my experience and from what I've observed, when it comes to people that are learning and particularly in programming, I think that there are two very well-defined stages. There is an acquisition stage and a rejection stage. The acquisition stage is the stage where we acquire new knowledge. Now there is a clear sense of progress in this stage because we're clearly gaining stuff. We're clearly gaining new knowledge. We're clearly exploring new ideas. We're clearly acquiring new skills. Also someone that is in this particular stage will be interested in more complex ideas in increasing and looking at understanding more complex ideas that the current ones that they have. So there will be a certain bias towards more complexity. I want to understand something more complex than what I currently know, because that's a challenge and that will probably get me to the next st stage, to the advanced stage. Now in this stage, there's a lack of experience. And because there's a lack of experience or the amount of experience that a beginner has is weak, there is a faulty learning compass, which means it is very tricky to actually know what should you particularly learn and how you should learn it. And it's also very hard to discern if what you're learning is good, if it's something that you should be learning or it's something that you should discard. Therefore, there is a tendency to actually acquire, over acquire ideas. Furthermore, because we have lack of experience and we have a faulty learning compass, there is also a certain tendency to be attached to new ideas. This is when beginners get attached to the learning, the programming languages that they just learned or the design patterns that they just learned. And then they use that everywhere. They see, they try to, they try to fix, use that to fix all the things because this is the next shiny new thing that I know, right? And it's amazing. And finally, this is also a very exciting and addicting stage to be in because the clear sense of progress and the interest in complexity produce a very satisfying feedback loop where new challenges are constantly arising and then learning just becomes super fun. On the other hand, the stage of rejection is kind of like maybe the complete opposite. There's a sensation of regress because you are actually discarding stuff that you knew in the past. Maybe some ideas that were very, very well dear to you, things that you believe that they were amazing. Maybe with time, you see that they're not that great. Since this stage is a stage of discarding what doesn't work, there is an inherent interest in simplifying things, simplifying ideas, basically finding the essence of what you know and what actually works. Therefore, there is a tendency to dismiss additional complexity. Since at this point, there is meaningful experience, we have a functional learning compass, which means that 
it is very unlikely that we will learn new things that uh, we are going to discard later. It can still happen, but at a definitely slower rate than when you're a beginner. It is easier to discard bullshit. I also think that it is very common in this stage to feel a bit lost, having like some kind of an identity crisis, because you may have to let go of ideas that you acquired as a beginner that were very important or maybe foundational for you as a developer. And finally, this stage is mainly boring and maybe even a bit depressing. I think this is why most seasoned programmers are a bit jaded and grumpy. <laughs> so in my opinion, everyone kind of fits in one of these two different stages of learning. The thing is that I believe that reaching this rejection stage is very, very tricky. Um, it's not easy and a lot of people never actually reach it. Why? Because it's not fun. It is not a fun place to be in. And it's also a place where you are going to regress. You're going to feel like you're losing things. And so if you're very attached to the ideas that you currently acquired and that took you a lot of time to acquire, and you are not open to being wrong, which is something that you surely are because during the learning stage as a beginner, you definitely made mistakes and acquired knowledge that wasn't useful because of the faulty learning compass. If you're not open to that, then you are gonna have a hard time acquiring mastery. Because I do really think that the main difference between someone that is at an advanced level and someone that is a master is precisely that they've decided to reject stuff that isn't useful and have reviewed all the knowledge that they had and they're open to simply letting it go. In fact, I think that the acquisition stage just happens automatically with time. You spend time learning and you just acquire new knowledge. But the rejection stage, most of the time, I believe it is triggered by trauma. It is triggered because some of the ideas that you were so attached to fail miserably and inevitably leave you to pain and suffering. And so the only choice that you have is to eventually reject them. And what you're left with is what actually is good. And that is what I think is the learning path or the unlearning path. Something else I have also realized is that beginners and masters tend to agree more than masters with advanced people. This is because beginners and masters both embrace simplicity because a beginner cannot embrace complexity yet because they have simply not acquired the knowledge necessary to understand it, while a master embraces simplicity by discarding complexity altogether. This is why a master sometimes may produce code that looks like it was written by a beginner, because it's so simple that a beginner may have written it. And that is a sign that after all this process, you may have acquired mastery. This is precisely why I think that the meme format of the midwit works so well. And that's it. Let me know if this resonates with you and thanks for watching.